What's happening, fam? LA all moving, still moving. Why I don't agree with abortion. I was watching Bill Maher. I think some, uh, Alyssa Silverman, I forgot the lady, Silverman, Silverstone. One of them, it's like a comedian. I forgot her last name. It's either Silverman or Silverstone. But they were talking about abortion at one point. And I never, I don't, I don't like abortion. I don't agree with it because I think it's hypocritical. I think we got living people talking about making sure people don't come to life. And the way it plays out, it's like trying to have your cake and eat it too. See, if you have a baby, or if you get someone pregnant, then it's their choice how to handle their body. But here's the thing. We don't see that with anything else. But yes, we do to a degree. Because we eat eggs and we don't think we, that's, that's chicken. But to a degree, if we eat chicken and eggs, we're like, that's being greedy. You can't be eating the chicken and the eggs. You got them coming and going. That's fucked up, right? So, it's like having it both ways. You got some people who, it's my choice. And their choice is really contingent on who they got pregnant by. Because you got people who will say, this is my body, you can't tell me what to do with it. And then you got the same kind of people who will say, you need to take care of your baby. Same eight weeks. You got people who say, it's just goo. It's not, it's a, it's a fetus. And then you got people who say, huh, how can I say this? He or she is going to be a doctor or lawyer one day. Same eight weeks. But the irony is this. Even if you have an abortion, how about stop fucking afterwards? No, I can't do that. Abstinence is not. Mm -mm, mm -mm. How about do better using protection? Nah, I can't do that. Because think about this. What is the percentage of people who've had an abortion that have had kids afterward? It's a timing issue. Well, you didn't say that when you was fucking. It's my right to choose. Well, how come it's just your right? How come it's your right to choose, but he's got to live with the consequences? You know, see, think about it. If a guy says, you need to have an abortion, he's an asshole. If a female says, I'm going to have an abortion, nothing's wrong with that. Think about it. If a guy says, I want you to. I want to keep the baby. People say that's not your choice. But if a woman says, "I want to keep the baby," you gonna have to take care of it. That's not his choice either. It's very hypocritical all the time. You know what I mean? It's just very hypocritical. And I'm not talking about no bringing the people who probably need to have an abortion for medical reasons because it might the pregnancy might kill them. I'm not talking about that. Or the people who um, maybe have gotten raped, and that's just a, that's way too much. I'm not talking about them. You know, I'm talking about the people who made the good old-fashioned decision to just have a night of passion. You know, even, okay, even if a condom breaks, it happens. I know. Trust me, I know. You know, but you gotta if if if, if you get pregnant. To want an abortion, that means, look how many things you skipped. You skipped condoms. You skipped IUDs. Nuva rings, I guess. Um, spermicide. Um, the pill. Uh, 
what is it? The Plan B pill, you know, uh, the patch, the shot. <sighs> like you actually went through. You had plenty of options that you just said, ah, fuck all that bullshit. I need that. I don't need none of that shit. That ain't gonna happen to me. You know. Bulls fuck cows all the time. You still eating burgers. But all of a sudden, men fuck women all the time. Oh, I ain't gonna get pregnant. Get the come on now. Seriously. Not it's hypocritical. Then you got people who they just want a baby. When they want a baby. If you wanted a baby on your schedule, maybe you should protect yourself to not have a baby during the period that you don't want one. And then when you be ready to want one, you'll be right on. You're, you're trying to be moving on schedule. You know, I just, I have issues with abortion because of this. Because it's not like Honestly, it's not like y'all going to stop fucking. Now, if you had an abortion and you say, I'm done. I'm, saying, I'm not fucking no more. I'm done. Then I apologize to you. But 99.999976% of the people who, who, who did it still fuck. I'm out.